Welcome to Equipment Spotlight, featuring the Hebron Helmet, or Italic G as it was classified by H. Russell Robinson, and later classified as a Wisenhoff by scholars. The replica helmet was made by Eric Conan from Replik in Germany. The original helmet was said to have been found with the Hebron Horde in a cave in Hebron, Israel in 1970 and dates to roughly 125 AD. It was cleaned and restored in Mainz, Germany, and that is where many of the photos were taken. Now we're going to look at the helmet in detail. It is an iron helmet raised from a single piece of metal. It has recessed ear guards riveted on, a cross brace on the top of the head going from either side, this was added protection for the skull. The helmet has a wide sloping neck guard, typical of this time period. The cheek pieces provide substantial coverage, simple in design yet effective. It is well decorated, trimmed in brass. The brow's edge is stamped with floral patterns, and even the brow guard boasts intricate detail. The top of the skull features four soldered on lunar emblems, all in stamped brass. There is no sign a crest holder was ever mounted to this helmet, seeing as the cross guard would interfere with its placement. The center portion of the neck guard was missing on the original, nor was a carrying handle found in the immediate area. Carrying handles were commonplace on most helmets of this time period, so the replica helmet sports one that dates to the time. We will now compare side-by-side -side footage of the original helmet and the modern replica. The Hebron helmet could very likely have been used in both of Trajan's Dacian Wars from 101 to 102 and 105 to 106 AD, respectively. The reliefs from Adam Cleesey Monument from these wars appear to have the very helmet portrayed on them. It is also plausible that it was used in Trajan's Parthian campaigns in 115, as well as the Quito's War, better known as the Second Jewish Revolt, from 115 to 117 AD. One of the most likely scenarios is this exact helmet was used in the Bar Kokhba Revolt, or Third Jewish War, from 132 to 136 AD, under the Emperor Hadrian. Whether it was being used to garrison provinces, suppress revolts, protect borders, or expand the empire, the Hebron helmet holds a special spot in Roman history, defining an ever-evolutionary period of Roman arms and equipment. If you would like to see the original helmet, visit the Israel Museum in Jerusalem. To see the replica in person, come see Legio 14 at one of our many public events. This has been the Equipment Spotlight featuring the Hebron helmet. We will see you next time.